up to Mario to set things right. Princess Toad Castle has been seized by Toad. The sudden appearance of King Toad Rugami King has thrown the world into disarray. And so, in the paper crafted universe of the Paper Toad o series, a new quest to reclaim Peach's Castle begins. Toad, the Origami Toad. Mario sets out on his latest journey around the world, searching for the ends of five massive Toad that have unfurled from Peach's castle. A an autumn mountain, a ninja Toad, an underground sewer system, a desert oasis. Untold trials await Mario in an array of captivating. Brave the Raging Rapids, take center stage, duke it out in an aerial battle, and what's an adventure without companions to share it with? What's an adventure without companions to share it with? What's an adventure without companions to share it with? For a Paper Mario game, there sure is a lot of toads and not a lot of interesting characters like Goombella, Vivian, Koops, Lady Bo. All I could do now is attack or run. It's like swap partners, use a special, skip a turn, gain experience points for winning battles like a normal RPG does. It's still the only character we're gonna get, and no, the hit up new character's title card in the trailer is lying. And the character problem is the same one Sticker Star had. The overabundance of toads is already sickening enough, and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're fucking toads. Tabata said it'd be nice new additions to have them as bosses. Fuck no. We've done this multiple times getting the Mario Party Syndrome, and it might as well have the new Super Mario Bros. Syndrome, the gameplay. Which is literally the same fucking thing as Sticker Star. Like, how the fuck can Miyamoto say Sticker Star being a Thousand Year Door clone is bad, yet a Sticker Star clone is completely fine? A paint bucket as a partner. He can even splash paint on colorless toads. Colorless toads back once again! Can this get any fucking worse? A splash of color will even liven up a toad house. Yes it can! More <laughs> toads! Talk about freaking slug it! Bring something fresh to the action-adventure genre. The theme is colors and paint. What the fuck? As something is very wrong. Oh, what's that? Prism Island is being drained of its color. Oh, oh no! Set off on a journey to bring oh, color what? back to the land. Is that what he does? And his new paint hammer is just the ticket. Oh, it splashes wow. paint on anything he hits. Oh, restoring hammer. the island's color yeah. bit by bit. Yeah! Oh, to revive dude! The Oh, Toad House! In battle, you'll paint cards like this, and then flick them to start the battle. In the Paper Mario series, we always challenge ourselves to bring something fresh to the action-adventure genre. Action adventure genre. Loose stickers after one use sucks. Excuse me? They took away any originality from the characters and instead replaced them with generic toads. What? Toads everywhere! This is the most peculiar change I can think of for a Paper Mario game. They sort of use the fact that they all look the same, but it's more than just toads. All the enemies you face are equally boring and cookie cutter in their appearance. Where are all the other types of shy guys that we've seen before? They aren't even different colors! What? Disposable cob. Oh, sorry, I almost threw up there. Disposable cob. What? Hey, the kids prefer turn based combat instead of this real time stuff. Let's do that, but nothing else. Take away anything appealing or worthwhile about it. They just want to take their turns now. What? That there's no good reason to even want to do these battles anymore. What? 
Is this a is this a full game? Is this really how you're announcing this? Is this real? But is it? No, you're not telling us what we. What? Is it a full game? What is it? Is that how you gonna? What is that? Paper Mario Color Splash is a dumb garbage game for stupid jerks. It features a new mechanic that's the worst, and I hate its dumb, stupid face because I. I... Oh, what do I think of that? No! no! <laughs> <laughs> if I could meet Olivia, Mario's steadfast travel companion. However, she's also King Oli's sister. Determined to foil her brother's plans, this bright young lady helps Mario out of all sorts of jet to foil her brother's plans. This bright young lady helps Mario out of all sorts of <laughs> During Mario's journey, he'll cross paths with a variety of characters. bob who's lost his memory. Toad Professor of Ancient History. A magic Koopa with a penchant for... Clean? Kamek. Enemies. Make con... ...with an enemy, and a battle begins. This grid of these enemies may look like they're scattered at random, but spin like this and, and slide like that and voila they're all lined up choose the right weapon ready then attack ooh, ooh, stomp ooh, on foes ooh. Ooh. stomp on foes sick mar boss battles really oh the empty the menacing members of the Legion of Stationary guard the ends of the streamers in each region. Present half of what you think of me. And take the sharp set of twelve colored pencil, rubber band, tape. Okay. Foes eat <laughs> <and vaporizing. laughs> Attack. <laughs> Locate your adversary's weak point. This is a toad. This is also a toad. And, yep, you guessed it. Who knows? Finding all these toads might just prove to be worth your while. Are you sure about that? <laughs> it's up to Mario to set. <laughs> Triceratops! Saber 2 Tiger! Olivia. Power Rangers! 